I want to talk about cleaning the light board and I did talk about this in another video but really it was in reference to um, just keeping the whiteboard clean during a class and for that I was using a, a just damp microfiber fiber cloth and wiping and, and I'll tell you what it's a good idea to sort of just do that whenever you you feel it's necessary and, and um, this cloth has sort of dried out a bit you can see a little bit of the dampness still there but um, but every once in a while, you really do need to do a little bit of a more serious clean because even wiping like that, you will still get residue uh, building up. And um, for this procedure, um, what I do is a, a couple of things. First off is you're going to use some, uh, some water in a spray bottle. I find it's probably best to use distilled water. If you uh, have very hard water, I, I wouldn't recommend that. I would buy some, some water or use distilled water. Uh, and I use a couple drops of a clear dish detergent uh, and in, a, in a spray bottle. And you just kind of kind of shake it up. We're going to spray this on the light board. I also will move any of my equipment. So I'm going to move my, my keyboard and my mouse sort of out of the range of, of the cleaning. And I'm going to put down a, a few towels just underneath the light board surface itself. Okay. And again, this is something you might only do, um, you know, maybe once a month or, or maybe if you use your light board every day for a couple of hours, you're going to do it every week. But, but this is more of a, a deep clean. I have to keep my microphone here. I'm going to move it back. This is the microphone I use. I'm going to move it back away from... The, the whiteboard surface, but I'll have to keep it here for the recording. Uh, the other thing I need is uh, a squeegee. And there is, should be a squeegee that came with your lightboard. Some of them are just a plain squeegee. Some have a, a microfiber cloth on the back. If you have the microfiber cloth on the back, you don't need a separate microfiber cloth, but I'm gonna, I don't have one, so I'm gonna use this separate cloth for the procedure. So I'm gonna get a little blurry, I realize, in this video. But uh, I'll give you just sort of a quick illustration of, 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 of how I do a, a, a once in a while deep cleaning. So I'm just going to spray, spray the light board, make sure it gets wet sort of everywhere. And then I'm going to take the microfiber cloth and I'm actually going to kind of wash, rub, make sure that that little bit of detergent is kind of getting all around the board. So what you're trying to do is sort of um, get any of the, the residual marker material that might actually be kind of stuck uh, in the pores of either the glass or the acrylic, depending on what surface you have. And mind you, this procedure works for, for um, either the acrylic or the glass model whiteboards. Um, so after you've done a little bit of wash, sometimes you can even see on the microfiber cloth, I happen to have a white one, you can see uh, some of the residue. Then I'm going to put some more water on. This is the, the detergent, the, the light detergent water. I'm trying not to get, not to spray my microphone. And then you're going to use the squeegee. And what I do is make sure that your squeegee is nice and clean and that you don't have any dirt on the leading edge of your squeegee or you could scratch your light board if you have an acrylic one. So, um, and then I'll start on one side. And just in a just a nice sort of straight downward motion, I tilt the squeegee a little bit towards the, the wet side and work my way across the light board. And it does collect some water down at the bottom. That's why you have the towels there. So there you have it. That is the, let's say, once a week or once a, once a month, depending how often you clean, uh, procedure. Now you can see a couple of drops. Uh, if you have any extra, any leftover drops, you can use your microfiber cloth, sort of drop, sort of dab those. those they look like white spots. They're not, they're actually just water droplets. You can dab those, Get a couple other ones here. Um, I didn't go quite up to the top like I should have. Um, 
drop up here. And then that's pretty good. So what I've done with that procedure is actually just kind of uh, try to lift off any of that residue that's that I didn't get with just the regular kind of wiping. Uh, the detergent is a, does a nice job sort of uh, gathering up those extra particles. And the squeegee is the best thing to use so that you don't end up with streaks. Um, if you do the squeegee and you don't sort of overlap when you, when you use the squeegee and you don't sort of tilt it a little bit, you might end up with vertical lines. And, and if you use hard water, you'll end up with a vertical line. You'll think, oh, I've got a scratch. It's not a scratch, it's just a, it's a squeegee residue line. So um, this takes a little bit of practice. It's not perfect. I could have done a better job up near the top, but for the purpose of this video, I think it illustrates the procedure. So um, uh, I also find it's a good idea at the very bottom, you can come in with the towel and just dab the towel along the bottom edge of your light board. Um, to sort of get rid of some of that excess water, maybe even wipe along the edge. And then once you've done that, you can, you can uh, move your towels and uh, move your equipment back and you should be ready to, ready to record or broadcast uh, again. So that's the deep cleaning procedure.